What's up, Canisaurs? It's Rod with POW Group. Welcome back on the Pursuit of Wealth, your home for MJ stocks, crypto assets, news and interviews, also home to the best MJ community, and the channel that was created by a retail investor for retail investors. Today is Saturday. I hope you're having a great weekend. It's November 2nd, just a few days before the elections. In this video, we're going to do another rapid fire news update for the period October 26th to November 1st. A lot of people keep asking me why I don't go into more detail. This That is not the purpose of this video. It's a high level overview in case you missed it. And then on your own time, you can dive more into it if you feel free to do so. Before we get to it though, make sure to smash a like. If you're new, you can subscribe. Tick the bell, you'll be notified on any future videos or when I go live. You can also follow us over on X, formerly Twitter. Handle for that is at Group Pow. Going to be using that as my platform of choice going forward. Just a few days, folks. We do not know exactly who's going to win the presidency. And we may not know on the day of, of November 5th. But one thing is for damn sure, we're going to find out whether or not Amendment 3 is passed in Florida or not. And that's all I care about. I absolutely hate politics. I hate politics more than cancer, I think. <laughs> like, I really do. It literally is cancer. I can't stand it. I hate politics in Canada. I hate politics in the US. I hate politics around the world. It's just such a dog-eat-dog -dog world, and I can't stand it. I absolutely hate it. There has to be a better way, especially since it's all corrupt. And anyway, I won't go into details. But speaking of polls in Florida, um, there's 69% of people in America that support rescheduling according to MJ Herald, and more trust Democrats over GOP on, Mar on MJ policy. Again, I could care less who you care for or who you vote for. I do not care. At the end of the day, both presidential candidates are supporting MJ. That's all I could ever ask for. All I care about is whether or not Florida passes Amendment 3 come November 5th. And let me know if you want me to do a live stream. I've been contemplating it. Let me know if you have any ideas. It might be a bit of a live stream, but I'm down. I'm game. So let me know. I've been reaching out to the Power Group private community, getting some feedback there. And uh, yeah, we'll do my best to make that happen. And there'll be some more information coming soon on that. Also, majority of MJ consumers plan to vote. And this is not me saying this. This is MJ. Her this is MJ moment. Majority of MJ consumers plan to vote for Kamala Harris. Oh, my God. So many people are getting upset. Oh, my God. I said Donald Trump. So many people are getting upset <laughs> over Donald Trump. I'm just having some fun here. We have to be we have to be a little bit light, right? There's not a whole lot of news this week. And we have to be just a little bit chill because we're going into one of the craziest, if not the craziest weeks ahead, right? So let's just try to unite. Let's try not to do what they want us to do. Hate each other. Right? Let's just be humans like we're, we're born and we are, right? We were put on this earth to love each other, to support each other, not to divide and conquer, right? This is what they want us to do. So the more you feed into their BS the more you're doing exactly what they want to do, okay? So remember that. Just love and love everyone. Be supportive. Be Unite. Um, I, I just can't believe how much I hate politics. And I can't wait till this is over because the markets don't like uncertainty, right? Neither do I, and I hate politics. So it's time for this to be over. <laughs> but the best thing of November 5th, next Tuesday, I could care less who wins the presidency. They're both terrible in my opinion. Um, what I think is the most crucial is Florida vote, right? We're going to know de facto, whether or not it's approved or not approved. So both candidates backing legalization, we know this. We could not ask for anything better, in my opinion. Whether or not you think one side is better for the other, I do not care. They both support it. That's all I could ever ask for, and I hate all politics. Decibel MJ acquires Ag Medica and plans private placement. So this is fueling their international plans. And uh, yeah, private placement stock has been seeing a nice boost. I sold it a while ago. I uh, never look back. Um, there's just too many good deals out there to be focused on some of these very, very small caps, in my opinion. Uh, maybe, you know, in a couple of months, couple of years, I'll look at sm some of the smaller cap names. But, you know, when the whole industry is down 90 plus percent, right, 80, 90 plus percent on average, why am I going to be focused on these penny stocks? It just doesn't make any sense. I'm going to be focusing more on the billion dollar market cap names that could go on to become the big conglomerates in the space. Also, Kronos Group, Inc. to hold 2024 third quarter earnings conference call on November 12th. And uh, that's going to be an interesting one. They got a ton of capital at the moment. So we'll see. There could be a lot of mergers and acquisitions coming their way as well. Also, love to see this. Ontario agrees to spend $31 million Canadian to combat the illicit market. Only took six years, right, of being legal at the federal level in Canada for the government to start to support the industry. Why do you think that is? You have to ask yourself, why is there still 280E? Why is it taking so long in the US? Why is it taking so long in Canada after six years of legalization to finally combat the illicit market? It's because they want to make this a mirage, right? This social justice. Everybody has the equal opportunity, right? <laughs> you can compete with the, with the um, 
the the Constellation brands of the world, the Atrias of the world, the Imperial brands of the world. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're going to give everybody equal opportunity, a level playing field, right? We're just going to tax the mofo out of you, right? <laughs> We're going to have so much excise tax that a third of your revenue goes toward taxes. And then in the U.S., you have 280E, right? So you can't, uh, your COGS, your cost of goods sold, you can't basically uh, deduct that off of your, your gross, right? Which is basically standard amongst every other business in the world that isn't on some sort of schedule one or two, right? So schedule one, three and above, no, no, fine. You, you're fine. You can go ahead. But they want to, they do this to create a monopoly. They do this for the incumbents, the big alcohol, the tobacco, the, 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 the pharma, right? It's to make the mirage that everybody has an equal level playing field, but we don't. They have the money. They have the dilution. They ha- they're a public company. They can dilute. They can raise. They can, they can fund it until their heart's content, right? But at the end of the day, once mom and pop start to fail, they're going to say, oh, no, no, it's not our fault. We let everybody have a level, play- a level playing field, right? It's just, it's just bullshit. Excuse my French. They are doing this to basically make it look like everybody has the same opportunity, but they don't. We know that they don't. And eventually, once they start to weed out, no pun intended, all of the unsuccessful mom and pop, Joe and Jane, just like me and you, right? Then they're going to let the industry thrive. And guess who's going to have the uh, stick to and the wherewithal and the uh, the capital to weather the storm? It's going to be the big alcohol, pharmas, tobaccos of the world, the richest of the rich, right? The rich get richer and the poor get poorer. That's just the way it goes, right? There's so many people in the world who are getting involved in MJ and they don't understand high access taxes. They don't understand 280E in the US. Starting like a dispensary and you don't know what 280E is? Well, I'm sorry, but that's probably on you, right? Just like when we hit the buy or sell button on an MJ stock. Oh, I'm down 80%, I'm down 90%. Well, guess what? You're in the highest risk sector next to crypto. You need to expect 80 to 90% pullbacks. Why not just wait for an 80 to 90% pullback to start loading in the boat? Maybe a lesson learned from next time, right? Again, I'm not trying to sound like a, a know-it-all. It's just... You know, I learned this lesson from crypto and I've, I've, I've seen this, I've been through the gauntlet, I've been through the ringer, and this is what they do with every new disruptive industry, right? And you got to remember that MJ, the Mona Lisa was painted on hemp paper. Like I, I'm pretty sure uh, the constitution was basically uh, created on, uh, on hemp paper. Like they've known about this for so long, it's just there's been so many industries disrupted by it. And right now, it's big alcohol, tobacco, and pharma. Oxley to report third quarter 2024 financial results on November 8th. And that'll be before markets open. They don't have a conference call. They suspended that until further notice. But don't worry. Power Group has your back. I'm going to be interviewing Hugo Alves, the CEO of Oxley, at some point the week after that. More details to come on that. If you have any questions, uh, please let me know. Also, J.D. Vance asks Joe Rogan for advice on providing psychedelic access to veterans after being fascinated by the drug war lesson, history lesson. Um, what, uh, you're running for the president of the United vice president of the United States. And you're asking Joe Rogan for advice. (laughs) Like, come on. These people are so full of shit. Uh, excuse my French. Like they're so full of shit. Like you're telling me you don't know what psychedelics are. You don't know what the, what, what MJ is cannabis, right? Like these people are so full of shit. And if they aren't ah, like, it doesn't matter. You're all terrible. Let's put Rod Murray in there and we'll be a better <laughs> we'll be a better president. Let's put a a blindfolded like deaf mute person in there. I don't know. Like these people, man. Like how how can you be so oblivious to things? Right? And I know I get it. There's a lot of issues in the world, but come on. These are your veterans you're talking about. Veterans are having a difficulty with their lives and coming back into regular the regular world and regular life. And you don't understand what psychedelics are doing to help these people. You don't understand what MJ is doing to like, literally MJ has been around. Cannabis has been around for hundreds and hundreds of years, like in the Eastern coast, like in the Eastern side of the world, they used to use it as an anesthetic, right? Like it's gotta be pure bullshit. There's no other, like, I can't stand any of these politicians. I really do hate them all. I really do. I like, maybe there's like one or two few good ones, but there's nothing more on this planet that I hate more than, than ever than that's politics. But you know what I love? It's, it's medicine of the future. It's cannabis. It's literally our savior. Like this is the best industry, the best plant, the best medicine. I love each and every one of you who are not succumbed to this bullshit 
And it's just, ah, I can't stand it. I really can't stand it. Can't wait till next week's over. I can't wait till we get some clarity. Who knows? Maybe we don't know who the president of the United States is. But again, for damn sure, we'll know who uh, votes in favor of Amendment 3. Um, I just, I can't stand it. <laughs> oh, oh, man, I'm fired up. I just, I, I, like, I can't listen. Like, he has so much common sense. And I posted this video as well. You get a lot of pushback too on the the 1.5 x speed. I listen to everything on 2x speed, and I point I posted this on 1.5 x speed because the average person only listened to my videos for four four minutes. So I was like, okay, well they're never going to listen to like a 10 or 12 minute video. Let's try to cut it down to eight. And then a lot of people like the 2x speed or the the faster speed. <laughs> I put it on 1.5 x speed, and people lose their ever loving minds. But it doesn't matter. You can't please everybody. But um, at the end of the day, it's just like I don't even remember where I was at with that, but. You know, in this video, that's what it was. In this video, he's just like, oh, I had no idea that, like, veterans were struggling and um, we need psychedelics. Like, how are we looking into that? Or, like, are we doing that? Or, like, is there research in it? You ever heard of John Hopkins University? (laughs) You ever heard of Google? Um, Like, I'm pretty sure we could have some form of, like, primate, like a chimpanzee who could do a better job. Like, it doesn't matter, folks, who wins the presidency. They're all clowns. They're clowns. They deserve to be in clown school. Like, they're just a face. They don't have a freaking clue in the world. I could be a better president than these people with a blindfold on. I'm sure of it. Anyone listening to my voice could be. Like, it's just ridiculous to the point that I, I don't even know how I'm making this video at this point. I've already done so many takes on this video. We just need to get off our high horse. We just need to get back to common sense and realize that these people are just a face. They have nothing to do with what governs the world. They're just a face. And, you know, both parties, in my opinion, are terrible. Uh, Both candidates are terrible. If I had it my way, um, I would have picked someone else. But you know what? You have two choices. You're damned if you do. You're damned if you don't. DEA, MJ, rescheduled a hearing delayed until 2025. Oh, a month or two, people are losing, losing their ever-loving minds. The, the initial meeting is still going on to December 2nd. They're just talking about the testimonies and whatnot. Is going to be a month later, two months later. Oh, we better, you know, stop investing in this sector because there's a month or two delay. Who cares? Right? Like, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> it's been a month or two delay. And uh, initially, we were expecting an ALG hearing could, ALJ hearing could take what, I think the initial um, timeline was like a year and a half. Guys, gals, it happened in like a year, less than a year. So don't worry. Ireland's MJ reform gains momentum. So that's love to see that. And uh, Gallup poll shows 47% of Americans have consumed MJ, 68 per, uh, 68% support legalization. End of the day, I hate politics. I love MJ. I love each and every one of you. All I want to know on Tuesday is who's going to vote in favor of Amendment 3. If we get the 60% required, then it's a win for me. Other than that, I could care less. And other than that, all I care about is each and every one of you listening to my voice. Hope you're well. Hope your family's well. Hope you're not listening to all of this, you know, just brainwash political divide that they try to ensue on everybody. I just, I can't stand it. I absolutely hate politics. If there was one job <laughs> that I would do um, based on like, you know, gunpoint, the only gun, like the only job I would do, if someone held a gun to my head, and said, do this job, it'd be politics. Other than a gun held to my head, I would run far, far away. And <laughs> I hope you do the same. Um, we just, there's, there's nah. Like, what is the, uh, what is the solution? Like, do we just, I don't know. I try, I try my best not to get too political on this channel, but the best way to be non-political is just to hate it all. <laughs> you know? Um, yeah. It's going to be a crazy week. I can't say anything else other than that. And uh, anybody listening to my voice at this point um, knows that I'm not trying to be, not trying to sway anybody any any type of way. I just, I don't know. The the times that we're heading into, I, I just, I pray, I hope that, you know, things don't get worse than they already are in terms of uh, this political divide because, yeah, it, it, times are tough out there, man. And we don't need to like attack each other. They're attacking us enough, right? So let's just lock arms, screw this political divisiveness. And let's just, let's just all support each other. That's all I can say in this video. And uh, this video has already gone a lot longer than I expected. 
Um, so let's just uh, let's just end it there. And uh, yeah, hopefully we get Amendment Three passed, which I think will pass at some point around the sixty percentile mark. All right, have a great weekend. We'll talk to you in the next one.